as you can see, I am not a professional at this, but uh, I'm dyeing my hair. And we're going for silver, and now I'm trying to section it, and it's not, I don't know the best way to do this, it's not very pretty right now, but uh, we're going to try to section it out so I don't mess it up. So, here we go. silver here in a little bit. First we gotta bleach it out and uh, I've tried to separate my hair. That's the best I can do so we're gonna see what happens. I have, I have a friend coming over they're gonna help me out. Um, hopefully I don't fuck anything up so we'll see. Alright we got some purple conditioner bleach. I got the blue be bleach because it's supposed to cancel out some of those yellowy orange stuff, which I'll probably get because my hair is brown. Uh, I got the T Wella T14 and the 050 additive. I'm trying to go for silver. Uh, 30 volume. I only want to bleach my hair once, and 30 is a little bit stronger than 20, but 20 is a good one. 10 is a little weak, 40 is a little strong. I have an array of brushes. We'll see which ones are the most effective. Gloves. And, uh, yeah, this is, um, this is going to be interesting. Okay, this is not the color I was looking for. Uh, it looked really silver, and my hair was not turning purple for some reason, which was a little confusing. So I used all of my T14. Now all I have, it looks like I didn't use enough of the 050. I don't know if you can tell this really yellow light, so, but it's not good. Um, I'm probably gonna let my scalp rest for today. My hair feels fine, maybe a little dry or damaged, but it doesn't feel too terrible. And probably try again tomorrow. Okay, uh, I probably did something I wasn't supposed to do. So when it came out, it was like a yellowish, whitish, grayish, silverish, not consistent coloring. So, um, I quickly added some more of the 050 into what was left of the mixture and added a little bit more developer to kind of even it out to get the right consistency and then put it back in. So 
we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, in every video I watched, it turned purple. Uh, it does look pretty gray everywhere, but like I can already tell it's not going to come out super gray everywhere. Like there's some yellowy deposit bits, which I was, I thought that I had gotten it down to a pale enough yellow to do all over. It's not looking great. Maybe Brad Mondo can tell you where I did not do well. So I haven't washed it out yet. Uh, I panicked and put 050 a little bit more in the mix that I used the first time and then added a little bit more developer and then smacked it back on my head real quick. Uh, and I have to do a video call in a little bit. So I have to wash this out in about five minutes. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, well, I put it in a hat for now, but we're going to go get a haircut right now. And it just started raining, perfect timing for a long walk. And uh, we're gonna cut it down a bit. I gotta kill the long hair, but uh, anyway, so we're going to do that and I will update y'all with what the cut looks like. messed up my other video so this is what my haircut looked after the fact this is from my fitness channel actually so if you're interested in that that's gonna be Raiju fitness I'll put a link below but anyway this is generally what my hair looked like uh, after the cut I liked it and uh, I'm gonna kind of get into the final comments I darkened it a little bit so let's take a look at that Hey, what's up guys? This is gonna be my final product for the hair stuff. So basically I went from like this level six, uh, level seven kind of brown hair. Didn't do super great on the bleaching. I uh, thought I got it pale enough. Then tried to tone it using T14 and the 050 from Wella. Uh, parts of it came out white, uh, kind of yellow on the top. Not perfectly great. Then it, uh, I went and got a haircut, not related to the color, or liking it or not liking it. I planned to get the haircut the whole time. Uh, then went to, uh, I thought it was a little light, looked more white and then blonde on the top. And I was like, well, I don't want to tone it with the 050. I'm afraid that's going to be a little too permanent or like sticking there too long. So I went and got uh, some like temporary uh, hair color stuff. It washes out in eight washes. Uh, I think it's like live is the brand anyway but went and did that and that's what's on my head right now and it doesn't look too terrible i'm trying to get some natural light so y'all can actually see what it looks like but uh whether it was the paler color or this little bit darker color there's obviously like some different areas that are colored different colors and it is what it is at this point i'm pretty happy with it actually uh i don't i don't hate it and but I am thinking about going a little bit lighter when my roots grow out. So, uh, Brad Mondo, if you're watching this, uh, let me know what is the best way uh, to kind of get everything a little bit lighter, especially up here where it's still kind of yellowish and still get my roots the right color and not mess anything up. If you got any advice for that, uh, let me know. But this is the it, the last part of this whole hair coloring saga, and I'll see you all in the next video.